Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between a const pointer and a pointer to const. So in the previous video, we went over pointers and just as a quick recap, to declare a pointer, you would add a star or asterisk next to the type of what you're pointing to and assign it to the memory address of the value that you want to point to. Okay, so I have a pointer here that is pointing to the memory address of savings, which has the value 10,000. So if I save and run the program, you can see we get 10,000 and 50,000 for savings and savings too. And if I want to change the value of savings, I would dereference the pointer. So to dereference, I open asterisk in front of the pointer variable, and I can modify it by adding, let's say 1800. And if I save and run the program here, you can see we now have 11,800. So we modified the value of savings using this savings pointer. All right, so now let's talk about const pointers. So just like with variables, you can declare a pointer as const. So if I declare this as const, for instance, the savings pointer, I would put const after the asterisk here. And you would read this backwards. So saving pointers is a const pointer to an integer. So what does it mean to be a const pointer? So just like with variables, if you mark a variable const, you cannot change the value that is assigned to the variable. Likewise, we have savings pointer that is referencing the memory address of savings. So if I try to change the memory address of savings pointer, so for instance, if I do savings pointer is equal to the memory address of savings2, you can see we get this squiggle and it's telling us that there is an error. And that is because we cannot change what we're pointing to if we declare the pointer as const. Okay, so if I save and run the program, we are going to get an error. And as you can see, because we declared savings pointer as const, it is read only, so we cannot update it and change the memory address. Now, if we didn't have this const here, then we can do this. And if I run the program, you can see we get 10,000 and we get 51,800. So we change the memory address of savings pointer to point to savings two, and we dereference the pointer and added 1800 to the value. Okay, so remember, you read this backwards and savings pointer is a const pointer to an integer. All right, now let's talk about pointers to const. So let's say I have savings two, and I want to mark this as const. So I would do const int savings two. So basically, I'm saying do not touch this savings account, do not change the value or the balance inside this account, keep it at 50,000. And you can do it as const int, or you can say int const. Either way works, but usually we do const int. Okay, so for a pointer to a const, I'm going to create another pointer. And it would be const int pointer, and I will call this savings pointer two. And I'm going to assign it to savings two. And again, we read this backwards. So savings pointer two is a pointer to an integer that is const. And I can do it the other way around. So I can say int const savings pointer three is equal to savings two. And again, we read this backwards. So savings pointer three is a pointer to a const int. So just like over here, when we declared savings2 as const, we can write it as const int or int const. The same applies here. So these two pointers are the same. So with a const pointer, we are saying that we cannot change where the pointer references. So once we assign the memory address, we cannot change the memory address of the pointer. Now a pointer to a const is different in that we can change the memory address of the pointer, but we cannot change the value that we're referencing at that memory address. So for instance, I cannot dereference savings pointer two and add 1800. Because if I dereference savings pointer two, we get savings two, which is a const value. So this is going to give us an error. So if I save and run the program, you can see we are dereferencing savings pointer two, which references savings two, and it is a const value, so it should be read only, and we cannot update the value. And the same would apply if you try to do savings pointer three plus equal 800. So these two lines do the same thing. They are pointers to a const value. 
And finally, let's talk about the combination of these two, which is a const pointer to a const value. So we would write it like so, const int, const savings pointer, and let's name this savings pointer four, and we will assign this to savings two. So again, you read this backwards, and this is savings pointer four is a const pointer to an int that is const. And of course, you can flip const int over here to int const. So I can say this, and this would be savings pointer four is a const pointer to a const int. But I'll just switch it back to const int. I think it's a little easier to read this way. It's up to you. So what does this mean? The pointer is const, so I cannot say savings pointer four is equal to the memory address of savings. So currently it's pointing to the memory address of savings two. I cannot reassign this to point to the memory address of savings because the pointer is const. And the value that is being pointed to is also const. So I cannot dereference savings pointer four and add 1800. Okay, so this is not allowed. So basically, this is the combination of a const pointer and a pointer to const. So you cannot change the memory address of the pointer, nor can you dereference the pointer and change the value stored at that memory address. So yeah, that's const pointers and pointers to const. And remember, when you're reading this, you read it from right to left backwards, okay? All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you understand the difference between a const pointer and a pointer to const. And if you found this video helpful, give this video a like. And if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on more C++ tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.